The RTC Yon conference uh, just ended here in Krakow, Poland. Uh, so I wanted to share a couple of quick thoughts uh, about that conference. Many of the top companies uh, and names in WebRTC development uh, were here, and so I definitely recommend this conference uh, for anyone in the voice video uh, development space. So a few quick insights first. Uh, mock and web transport are close to standardization uh, by the middle of 2026 uh, for both of those, hopefully. Uh, second thought, uh, AI pipelines in WebRTC development are definitely key in media application development. Uh, Pipecat and LiveKit were both mentioned by speakers. Uh, and companies like Janus, 8x8, and Red5 were in attendance and showed excellent presentations on the architectures they've built uh, and lessons they've learned about using AI in their media pipelines. And finally, third topic, uh, I didn't expect to hear mentioned as much as I did was around edge computing. Uh, some things like uh, video backgrounds in your meeting tools are already done at the edge in your, in your browser typically, uh, but many uh, speakers expect to see more AI and uh, LLM integration working on the edge uh, on your mobile device or in your browser, whether that's for uh, IoT use cases, uh, Gen AI avatars, or language translations, and uh, talk about things like Apple Intelligence offering that on the device as well key point from those discussions uh, was always use the smallest model uh, that is good enough for your implementation in order, in order to help keep costs low uh, and also reduce power consumption uh, when you're using it at the edge. Um, also, uh, there was a pretty universal agreement among attendees that uh, Simon DeHaan's presentation about using the WhatsApp Business API to enable healthcare solutions in the global south. It's very inspiring, very interesting. Um, uh, Simon DeHaan's company is Turn.io, has nothing to do with Turn servers in the WebRTC context, but a really interesting application of LLMs and uh, access through the WhatsApp API uh, to improve healthcare access. So I'd love to see more, uh, more things like that, uh, to see more uh, positive uh, and inspiring use cases around LLMs uh, and WebRTC to improve the world around us. We could certainly use more of that. And I'm sure we'll talk about all these things and more on WebRTC Live in future episodes and also on our blog at WebRTC Ventures. So to keep up with that, check us out at webrtc.ventures. And thanks again to the team at Software Mansion for putting together another excellent event for helping us to do another episode of WebRTC Live from Krakow. So we'll see you next year.